Today we're going to be talking about Naked Lunch from 1991. William Lee, I have arranged all this just to have a moment alone with you. I am your case officer. Naked Lunch is written and directed by David Cronenberg and is based on a book by William S. Burroughs. Naked Lunch stars Peter Weller, Judy Davis, and Ian Holm. This film is typically categorized as drama, surrealist, and if you just look up weird movies, it will be there too. Naked Lunch is about a drug addict who believes he is a special agent that needs to type up a report about his wife's death. This movie really is quite a strange, unpredictable journey that you have no idea where it's going. Peter Weller's performance is amazing though. The way he plays the confused, messed up junkie is great. And I haven't delved too deep into the making of it, but the novel it's adapted from is said to be based on some true events of the author himself, and that does sound really interesting. I hope you like dialogue, because there's lots and lots and lots of dialogue. Lots of telling and not showing. There's tons of scenes where the characters are just sitting around explaining things to us. I would rather be showing these things instead of being told. And while the plot is not too complicated, you could get a little lost if you're not paying attention to the dialogue and the long monologues. A curse has been in our family for generations. The Lees have always been perverts. I shall never forget the unspeakable horror that froze the lymph in my glands when the baneful words seared my reeling brain. And I wouldn't say the dialogue is bad, but they sure don't talk like normal people would. Peter Weller's goal for most of the movie is to write a report. One could say that doesn't even seem like he really wants to write the report, but he's being forced to. So the goal he's trying to accomplish is not really meaningful to him, and he doesn't even care about it, so why should I care? Adding to the boredom, I thought, was really little to no stakes and not much conflict. Characters seem to be there to serve the plot and are saying what the plot wants them to say and not what they want to say. I thought there might have been some plot inconsistencies with the hallucinations. Um, at times, like Bill seems like he knows he's high and he's hallucinating, so he doesn't take it too serious. But at other times, he listens wholeheartedly to those hallucinations. And others see Bill's hallucinations as well, which is kind of weird. Because you'd think the only person hallucinating would be able to see them. If you like Peter Weller, David Cronenberg, William S. Burroughs, then watch this movie. If you like movies that have weird aspects to them or drug-using type movies, then watch it. If you hate any of those things, then don't watch this movie. And if you're indifferent, then I'd say, yeah, take a chance and check it out. If you do want to check this movie out, help me out by clicking on the affiliate link in the description, watch another review, and I'll see you later.